Hello and welcome to another update video about Rune. Um, yeah, no change really. Um, just an update because we pushed into the target area I mentioned in... Uh, did I mention it in yesterday's video? I can't remember. At least I updated it for, for channel members, for gold members. Um, we have five waves up of the June low um, here into the October highs. Then a corrective pullback. I did take that support area now of the chart. We don't need to, 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 to keep the old ones if they're not relevant anymore. Um, and now it could be after having five up, three down, that we're moving up in this larger degree third wave. Yeah, which is going to be up there roughly in the $8 range, $9 range from what we can see now. Within this third wave, we also have five waves to the upside. Okay, And within these five waves, um, we could be in the first wave. The thing is, um, I looked at the FIBS yesterday again. I updated the chart for channel members after my last video. Ideal target area for this wave one of three is $2.84 to $3.40. And um, ideally, ideally, I don't want it to break above um, $3.40. Ideally, I'd like to see um, five waves complete within this box. If not, then other interpretations come into play. Then I will have to possibly assume we're already... We're doing this in one go. You know, crypto sometimes do that without a lot of structure. They just completely escalate and, and take it to, you know, the, the third wave target here, $8.20. But again, you know, you don't need to worry about that. That's why I always give you support levels and 50% FIP level in this case has now been lifted to $2.11. Um, coins like these can always be traded against the 50% FIP level against the length of the current third wave, basically. And that's now at $2.11 because um, you never know when a pullback shows. We can only identify like resistance areas, ideally target areas. But um, technical analysis is, of course, not a crystal ball. So it can't tell you, OK, these are main. These are the main FIP levels here for Circle Wave 1. Is it going to is it going to pull back? And do we then get a fifth wave? So is this do we still get a four and a five or is this maybe already Circle Wave 1? But do we get a deep pullback or not? You know, that's the question. But um that's why I always say, you know, have a core position in the coins you want to trade and then you can trade around that core position with short term, uh, basically trading and, and positions. And if you like to jump on board, you can always do that with a stop below the 50% FIP level. That's not general, not general advice um, or specific advice. That's just how there, you know, that's just one way of trading this. There are hundreds, if not thousands of different ways how you can trade this, we can really only provide the analysis, as you know, okay? How you trade this will depend on your own trading plan, risk management, risk profile, skill, okay? Um, best analysis doesn't help you anything without skill. That's the problem without trading skills. So, um, yeah, that you can, it takes a while to develop, obviously. But um, that's, that we have to leave that with you, of course. So I can really only give you my view of the market. Um, but yeah, it's certainly an uptrend. Yeah, we've been we've been highlighting and calling Rune as one of the potential coins that could be one of the better performance uh, performers in the next few weeks and months. Um, since we were identifying this five wave move to the upside, yeah, then we had the pullback, and this looks pretty much like a third wave. Um, how this is going to subdivide? Well, this gives you the ideal roadmap. Ideally, we should get this circle wave two pullback between um, $2.84 and $3.40. If it breaks above it, then $4.26 would be the next key level to watch. Um, in the very short term, um, again, support is between $2.11 and $2.53. And yeah, I mean, there's a bit of, um, you could say, you know, may maybe this was already wave three here. Maybe this was four, you know, maybe this is five, um, but it's not very clear. So for me, it's like, if we get the first pullback, I will first watch this support area. If we break below $2.12, then I will assume that Circle Wave 1 is already complete. And then I will provide support for Circle Wave 2. Okay, um, Maybe I can actually do that now. Why not do that now? But it will, it will shift together with the price. It will move up together with the price. So this would be support for Wave 2. Um, yep. And it would be all the way down to $1.70, which means I will only really turn bearish on this chart again if the price breaks below $1.70 because then it's breaking below the key support for bullish continuation. Basically, you've got micro support for an extension in Circle Wave 1. And if that breaks, 
we have some clarity that we are likely in um, Circle Wave 2 already. Yeah, that's my update about um, Rune. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.